Hey, what's up everybody? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds. Today we have a thread mill video. We're going to thread mill a quarter 20 hole. So let's get started. Here's our part. We're going to be thread milling that hole on the left. It's a quarter 20 hole. But first, we're going to check out our previous operations and we're going to verify them just so we can see where our part is at and make sure we have a clean surface to start thread milling. So there's our operation one. There's operation two, there's operation three. We spot drilled and tapped op three, which was the holes on the other side. And on this side, we wanna do some thread milling, which is different than spot drilling and tapping, you guys will see. So, the hole on the left. So what we did was, this is operation 400, and we, Helix bored it first, so we used a eighth inch end mill. And we are going 10 inches a minute, 7,500 RPM. Roughing parameters, 10 thou per revolution around the hole, and we're going down a half an inch. That hole is 201 thou, and that is the minor diameter of a quarter 20. So we're milling to the minor. That's step one of thread milling. So we're going to mill the hole to the minor. You could also drill the hole, but milling you can get a little more accuracy. So I'm just going to helix bore all the way down to half an inch. The more accurate you can be with your minor diameter, the easier it is when you actually start thread milling the part. So, we helix board it. Next, we thread mill it. We go into parameters, we go down to tool. Let's view our tool. It's an eighth inch, 20 threads per inch. This is a quarter 20. Overall length, two inches. Cut length, 100 thou. Shoulder diameter, 70 thou. Shank diameter, eighth inch. Feed rate is seven inches and 7,500 RPM. Go to easyspeedsandfeeds.com, go down to carbide thread mills, and find a speed and feed that'll work. <clears throat> so we go back to Mastercam. Number of teeth, two threads per inch, 50, that's a quarter 20. Major thread diameter. We're going to type that in manually. We're going to go to quarter inch. Lead in, lead out. That looks good. Multi passes. We want to take 10 thou out per cut. We don't want to do massive cuts with the thread mill because we don't want it to deflect. So we're going to do multi passes. Step over 2 thou. That looks good. Thread depth 480 thou. So that's 20 thou above where we milled it. So, let's go into back plot and check out what we did. So, it's going to go all the way down to the bottom and start thread milling up. Starting at the bottom usually gives you less deflection, and that's what you want. So, and it's not engaging too much, which is good. So it's going for its next pass. Okay, third pass.
And uh, the less deflection you can get while doing this, the better. If you get a lot of deflection, you'll get a lot of taper. And then when you go to check the threads using a thread gauge, your thread gauge won't go all the way to the bottom. It won't be, you know, a good thread. So, there we go. What we want to do next is copy that and paste it. Why do we do this? Well, I'll show you. We turn off multipasses, we go into cut parameters, and we change the major thread diameter, and we comp it out. So we can call it 252, 251. And we can rerun this tool only doing one pass. Say your thread gauge doesn't go down, you can open up a thou and go again. And this will be a lot faster than doing five passes. So it should only do one pass here. Kind of a finish pass. There we go. That looks good. So we're going to select all of our operations and go to verify. We're going to check out to see what this thread mill looks like. So hit play. There's operation two. So it's rough thread milling it. And there's that finish one where we were stepping out an extra thou. And if we zoom up, it looks like it's doing what we want. So that looks good. Those are some quarter twenty threads. So what you want to keep in mind when doing this process is milling to the minor diameter, 201 thou, thread milling, to the major, 250, getting your pitch right, 50,000, so that's quarter 20, that's the pitch. And then also going into tool and making sure your tool is defined correctly. So everything needs to be defined correctly, especially the outer diameter and the threads per inch, and also the cut, the cutting length. Make sure you get that all right. If you get that all right, then thread milling will be pretty easy for you. Also, you can change that, or you can go into compensation type, go to where, change it back to 250, and then just change it in the machine. Either way, you can do it. So, that's thread milling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more, and uh, we'll see you later. Thanks.